SHS. I'm Holly. I'm Kaylin. And I hope you all have an amazing week of school. Now we all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God and one indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. This week we will continue to see cloudy skies and a slight chance of rain. Since and Lady Pirates will be on the road today traveling to Skinmore to take on the Lady Bobcats. Good luck, Lady Pirates. Cross country runs at Tammuth Islanders Slash this weekend on Saturday. Good luck to all of our runners. Varsity football will have their game this Friday home against the Alice Coyotes. The dress up theme for this Friday is Western, so make sure you come out this Friday and support our Pirates. On today's edition of Meet the Teacher, we spotlight Ms. Lott in the medical department. We'll cut to that now. Three. Okay, today I'm here with uh, Mrs. Lott. And uh, how many years have you been teaching? I've been teaching here at SIN for three years. And what uh, subjects do you teach? I teach uh, the health science uh, programs, so I teach EKG, phlebotomy, uh, patient care tech, and medical assistant for Del Mar College. Okay, that's and uh, what are you most excited about this year? Oh, our new school, of course. School. Yeah, yeah. The very um, we have a new lab, and it's pretty high tech and stuff. So I'm just really excited for the students to get get in there and get some learning. Okay. Thank you for your time. Sam. All right. It's okay. Now we're back. SCA began last Friday, and will continue every Friday at 7:30 in Miss Roach's room, 2:38. Today I'm here with Ms. Gomez, the UIL coordinator. So Ms. Gomez, what are y'all doing in UIL? In UIL we have academics events that we compete in. We compete in science events, mathematic events, accounting, um, computer applications, computer science. We have theater, we have film, um, we have quite a few other events like Congress, um, current events, uh, debate. And these are all events that mainly take place in the spring. The only one that takes in the fall are some of the theater events, as well as film. Okay, that sounds very interesting. So how did one go about joining UIL? In your class of 2024, 25, 26, and 27, I did send out an email or a notice letting y'all know the sponsors. So you can meet with those sponsors, sign up with them, because we have our first event coming up at the end of this month. Um, and the results will be submitted in the first week of October. Okay, thank you for your time, Ms. Gomez. Man, look at that kid's outfit. It looks ugly, dude. His outfit's trash. That was like really rude, dude. What the heck? Fill up this water bottle, man. Those guys are real mean. Hey, man, what's wrong? They said I had a really bad outfit, and you know, I, it was just really mean, you know. I kind of just put some on today, but you know, that was it's just still mean, you know. And you shouldn't let other people decide how you should act the rest of the day, man. Right? See this? Yeah, you gotta just, have that confidence, man. This kid's to teach everyone to always keep your self confidence and never let anybody take that down. Yay. Today marks the 23rd anniversary of the terrorist attack on 9-11, where close to 3,000 civilians and first responders died. On September 11, 2001, 19 militants associated with the Islamic extremist group Al-Qaeda hijacked four airplanes and carried out suicide attacks against targets in the United States. Two of the planes were flown into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. A third plane hit the Pentagon just outside of Washington, D.C., and the fourth plane crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Almost 3,000 people were killed during 9-11 terrorist attacks, which triggered major U.S. initiatives to combat terrorism and define the presidency of George W. Bush. Although many of us were not alive yet or were too young to be impacted at the time, our world has not ever been the same. As it was on September 10th, airports, travel, and nation security, national security, all of our city differ now. Our military is still on active duty combating Al-Qaeda and ISIS in the Middle East. This tragic event coined phrases like never forget and let's roll, a sticker often seen on semi-trucks and used in current pop culture. That statement references Flight 93, here with Todd Beamer's let's roll phrase captured on a 911 call before he and other passengers attempted to take on the hijackers. 
Flight 93 eventually crashed into a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Now, the thought of the day is success is not the destination, but the journey you embark upon. Have a good day and, and go, go Pirates! pirates.